The number one reason why I'm a coach is my passion for athletics. I was an athlete growing up my entire life, so the next natural progression for me after college was to become a coach. And I'm also a teacher, so I think my love for educating others and being a mentor is definitely part of um, why I'm a coach today. I think leadership in any team dynamic is definitely an important part because a coach obviously has a mission and goals that they want to accomplish every season, whether that changes from year to year. But the team leaders have to have the ability to be able to take those goals and missions from their coach and instill them in their peers on the field and off the field as well. So I think that it's important for them to be able to display um, a sense of sportsmanship and leadership in the younger players and set an example um, for what it is that I'm trying to do as a coach. Uh, that's definitely the most important part for me. I think every year it's important for all the members of a team, including the coaching staff, to step up and obviously take the feedback and what they've learned from the prior year moving forward. So I expect, obviously, my coaching staff to step up and um, you know, take on some new leadership roles as well as my captains because they're going to be transitioning into a leadership role from being just a player and I'm going to expect a lot from them. But I think the most important people that I look towards to step up in their roles is the new incoming players. I'm looking for them to find um, their place on the team, um, to understand what it is that I'm trying to do and hopefully that they're going to want to do the same thing. Um, so I think the younger players are the ones that I look towards the most to see how they're going to fit in and, and be part of um, you know, my mission here at Becker as a coach. During the fall, we play our non-traditional season in September and October, so that's a great opportunity for me to see some of the freshmen's abilities and to start to see how people are going to fit in together as part of the team. And then throughout the winter, we do a three-a-day workout plan that really focuses on their core strength which is going to help us in our season mostly for stamina because we have such a um, short but long season. We play 40 games in our seven week season so it's definitely important for us to be able to have the ability to make it through that entire season. Um, and other than that we focus a lot of our time on fundraising for our trip to Myrtle Beach which is another important part of us kind of bringing the team and bonding together. I think any coach is always going to hope to do better than they did the year before. Um, coming into my fourth season, I think I've progressed really well every year. We have done better and won more games. Last year was the first year that we had made playoffs in a very long time, and obviously I was proud of that and hope that this year we will definitely make it a little bit further, um, if not win the whole thing. But one can only hope. Um, but also I think it's important for me to just keep building upon the core values that I'm trying to instill in this program. You know, as a teacher here and a coach, um, I'm part of the Becker family now and, and hope to be for a long time. So I think that each year it's just about progressing and building a stronger program. I think one of the most important parts of any team dynamic is building a strong chemistry. That is one of the things that I learned the hard way my first couple years of coaching, um, that uniting people together as one and, and becoming that family or that tight-knit group is the key to success. Um, so we, I mean, we spend a lot of time together in the fall doing fundraising, as I had mentioned before, and that really gives us an opportunity to spend time with each other outside of the gym or out, off of the field and really see people's personalities and, and get to know people so that we can kind of build that bond. Um, we also do a couple different team building activities such as t family dinners or um, little day trips and then obviously our biggest biggest building is when we go to Myrtle Beach for spring break. Um, it gives us an opportunity to spend a week together outside of the Becker community. Um, we really get to see people's personalities and it really brings everyone together as one and, and makes us come back really strong and ready to go once we start our season. In looking at his core values, I think two of them, excellence and accountability, are pretty much at the core of any athletic team. I mean, I think that any team is going to work hard through preseason and their season to be excellent and be the best that they can be on and off the field. So I think that's something that I try to instill in my players all the time. Um, and accountability as well is extremely important to any team or community because 
every person that's on that team has a responsibility um, they have to be accountable for their actions what they do on the field and off the field um, because that's going to affect everyone else who's on the team so the excellence and accountability are probably the two core values that I take towards the most when I'm coaching um, and, and hoping to build this program here at Becker College. Well, when I took over the team three years ago, it was definitely an instance where I was rebuilding the program from scratch almost. Um, so the two most important parts for me in that situation were getting the girls to buy in to what it is that I was trying to do with the team and also at the same time trying to instill in them or define ourselves as a team um, because you know the, the, there really had been nothing before that point for the last few years um, so as a team we were really able to start to develop who we were and what we believed in what, what we wanted to do and in aligning that with the school as well Becker's mission and their vision I think it was a good opportunity for us to kind of start over um, and, and obviously deciding or figuring out what our morals were and, and what we believed in and what we hoped for in the future were an intricate part of that process. I, I think one of the greatest parts of being a female athletics coach at the college level is that you have this diverse group of 16, 17 young women um, and that kind of situation can present itself to be either extremely difficult or really, really fun at other times. And I think that creative expression is a really important part of any team. The ability to let people open up themselves and let go and take a break from things because college athletics can be very intense. Um, so I think that the ability for us to be able to let go has really helped out in, in that situation. And it's definitely been an opportunity for me to allow my girls to kind of let loose without judgment. And I think the ability for us to have built a family dynamic where people aren't afraid to be themselves and let loose and my girls aren't going to judge each other has really given us the opportunity to have that really strong team bond. I think in, in developing social responsibility within a small group of people, the first thing you really want to focus on is getting these students to understand that there is a bigger world out there. It's not just about our team or our Becker community, that there's more out there. And one of the biggest things that I've come across that I've found has really helped in developing this social responsibility is having the girls understand the importance of respect. And it's not about just respecting your elders or respecting the people who are above you. It's about giving respect to get respect. And that, to me, is one of the most important parts of a strong community. People will respect you if you respect them. And, and these girls and all these college students are at an age where they're starting to understand or develop who they are in this world. So the ability to be able to understand their accountability and their responsibility to their community is such a big part of that process. So I'm kind of excited and honored to be a part of helping them develop who they are as young adults.